Hi. Uh, so I suggest you uh, also start doing practice tests. I'll send you the link. Basically, all the practice tests are kept in here. It's all free. Uh -huh. Each uh, practice test has a question palette as here. Uh -huh. It shows you which questions uh, you were um, able to answer. So here you press play. Test two. You'll hear the. Uh, you'll hear a number. You'll hear the directions. Listen to it carefully. You'll hear each recording once, and uh, like you can always pause, of course. Uh, maybe after all the notes you've taken, questions one to ten, and then you, yeah, you uh, put them right here. Yeah, you type them in here. So as you hear it, or um, I suggest first maybe you write it in your notepad or a piece of paper, a Hardy, because she spells it H A R D I E. Then the rest of it, second, third. Uh, before you listen to the exercise, or actually during this listening, he tells you that now you have time to look over questions one through five, or now you have time to listen uh, to look over questions six through ten. So it's a good idea to, when you have that, like maybe half a minute or a minute, you look over uh, what questions are. So it's a better way to be prepared once you hear the uh, response. Yeah. Then once you transfer all your answers into here, yeah, into this. Uh, special typing area, then you press submit. And the beauty of this test is that, okay, it tells you mm -hmm, uh, explanation, yeah, correct answer. So it'll give you a uh, explanation if the answer wasn't correct. Yeah, and then when you press, as you press next, you'll also be able to see the script, yeah, over the section one, right? And that's the end of the practice test two. That's listening section number one. Then, for example, if you want to go to listening section two, well, of course, first, just do a lot, a lot of them on listening section one. Do at least few of them uh, until you get a high score. Yeah, then in the same manner, you go uh, into, let's say, listening section two. Then there are practice tests one, two, three, four, five. These are just different variations of the same listening section two. Okay, and they're like, okay, there are 28 variations. That's a lot. Here, you can actually hear or in any other... Um, yeah, section uh, for any other yeah uh, skill. Press theory, and then the pop-up will come here. It gives you all the details. Time allotted, five minutes. Number of questions, 10. What's the content, all right? Mm -hmm. What kind of uh, questions uh, will there be? Uh, multiple choice matching, and so on. Uh -huh. Then you get out of here, and you start your practice test one, policing section two, by, for example, uh, oh, sorry, by pressing here, yeah? As uh, here, you will see the, how many correct uh, questions you got, how many were incorrect. Now I have 10 as in practice now, yeah? So I press practice now, and then I press the record. Section two. And I go on you will hear of doing this test, yeah? So as I do it, after that, I submit that, and so on. So for all the um, listening uh, sections of the IELTS test, they'll be all having on IELTS-testpro.com. So they will have lots of practice tests. Yeah, you're done with second section, you do the third, the fourth, and then you go uh, uh, by, uh, these will be uh, the same questions, but now they are grouped here by the um, type of a question, yeah? As a matching question or short answer question, sentence summary completion, table completion, and so on, okay? So I uh, spent a lot of time on IELTS-testpro.com uh, and see my results, yeah, because, okay, uh, they don't give it to you in band score, but you can pretty much guess, yeah, how many percent you got. Mm -hmm. That's pretty much it. No, actually not. Right. Just register there first. It's free. It's nothing like, uh, it's really good. It's amazing. Uh, we're also, uh, you have to do a lot of, you have to do a lot of grammar and vocabulary. So in grammar bits, you go into the grammar, all right? You choose what you need to work on. Let's say adjectives or let's say modal verbs, yeah? Here, I'll just explain the way it works. Yeah, okay, model verbs of ability. Let's go into this, yeah? So when you wanna uh, practice this, yeah, okay. So again, you have a question palette. You have how many questions you have left to answer, right? Once you start practicing, they'll tell you how many were correct, how many incorrect. The thing is here that you also get to see the theory, model verbs theory. So here it'll be a longer uh, printout. Yeah, you can also try to print it out, yeah? So you can have this, um, just go through this before you start doing full explanation, use this. Yeah, then you press practice now. Right, then um, 
this is handy, yeah. So there is no such um, section as grammar just for the uh, in IELTS, but grammar will be used uh, throughout the whole of the um, exam. So uh, just you have to find the grammar points that you are feeling this least, least comfortable about. Okay, may I borrow your dictionary? Here the explanation will be also um, presented. May is used to ask for permission in a formal way. Next, I'll try to answer in um, in not not in a correct way with that man over there. I recognize his face. But don't remember um i don't know um i could okay that's not correct so and here we're also going to see uh yeah correct answer and uh, explanation why is that correct so that's for grammar same goes for uh, just register and log in under your like whatever google because then it saves a lot of your progress everything is saved here yeah as you can see vocabulary so the same structure works for vocabulary vocabulary you want to practice uh, as in grammar, you just press vocabulary, you find the uh, topic you want. Mm, okay, listening vocabulary, yeah, it's uh, categorized. Reading vocabulary, yeah, okay, reading, let's say, because you'll read uh, three passages on different topics, and it could be like, oh my God, like sea creatures, and oh my God, yeah. Uh, let's say, okay, psychology, okay, let's just say, call out, psychology topic. All right, so there'll be flashcards, psychology, again, um, learn or play a game, you choose... Um, for example, learning, there are 44 cards. Uh, you choose, for example, to learn. Theoretical. Then you hear and you'll see the explanation. Press to see explanation and example. Then you decide whether you want to study it again. Then you press here. So it appears again later on. Or you say, got it. Then that means that you don't want to. Uh, you don't need to. Your knowledge is quite, yeah, you're confident in that word. Okay. Right. Okay. So, and there are more. Uh, there is a full test you can attempt maybe after a week or two. Uh, yeah, I can attempt a full test. Well, that's about it. But this is a go-to website, yeah, for the test preparation for IELTS. Good luck.